translation that's happened was something I just never anticipated, which is that, you know, rather than saying, oh, I, I really need, you know, it's okay for me to be uh, sort of off balance in a while and upset for a few days because this is so important to, you know, help my mother with this and make sure she doesn't get taken advantage of and protect her so she's that, you know, it's okay, I'll, I'll stick it through even though this seems to be just shooting me out of the vortex every time I go near it, even though every conversation's off that. And now I've said, you know what, nothing is more important. And so, I, let's it's, take that, it's, so let's take that yeah. subject and tell us just briefly some of the specifics of it. Oh, really? Okay. Somebody, it's, just briefly. It, well, uh, you know, she has this money that's come to her and I have offered my help to her because she's wanted it in helping her get it in the first place and now to protect her she's going to marry somebody else so that you know her interests are taken care of and financially you know she has what to live off of and she's not being taken advantage of by other people and uh it's just every conversation you know there's I, I would so much rather just hold her in love and look at, yes, at her and say, you know what, she doesn't need me. I see her through the eyes of someone. All right, so you're doing, yeah. you're doing exactly what we were going to guide you to okay. do. So you were doing the specifics of it, and then you went general. So tell yeah. us that again. She really doesn't need me. She's figuring it out. Yeah, you know, somehow it'll come together. She's come this far, and, this you know, is, even, even though logically I don't know how it's going to come together, and logically maybe I have ideas that she needs my help, you know what? She could probably be fine with other people are coming in to take my place. Well, this, is in ways. this is precisely the yeah. process. In other words, you yeah. did exactly what we were going to coach you to do. Right. You took the specifics of a problem which were unsettling, yeah. and you talked to yourself about it in a way that brought you emotionally into balance. So the manifestation that you experienced was the relief about your mother. Yeah. And once you find that manifestation and you practice it enough that that is really the way you feel, not just the way you talk to yourself into, mm -hmm. but you've practiced it enough that you really feel that way. Now, as we were talking about just a little bit ago, your power of influence as you hold your mother as your object of attention, whether she's in another country far around the world or whether she's living in the same city that you are, as you hold your mother as your object of attention, knowing unequivocally that her well-being, because, because you have have manifested the knowing can you feel what we're getting at you worked until you manifested the knowing the knowing is yours it's not dependent upon what she does it's not dependent on, on how others treat her it was only dependent upon your ability your willingness to find it and practice it until you know it and once once you achieve the manifestation of the knowing Oh, these are such good words. The manifestation of the knowing. Mm. It, it doesn't it manifest. Do, don't chemicals release in your belly that give you visceral feelings that either feel good or bad? Isn't this as manifested? Oh my goodness. <laughs> give me a start. <laughs> All right. Now. So how, do, so how do we feel about this? <laughs> feel how it, feel how it's trying to pull your energy up. Feel it. <coughs> Interesting, isn't it? <laughs> so stuff happens and you have emotional manifestations that you have control over. Good to know. Yes. Um, so so uh, just another thing is there seem to be some things that are they're on the on the verge place. You know, it's like oh 
Like and that. Like that. Where it's like, oh, it's all coming. Like that. Yeah, coming together and like, look at all these magical things that happened and wow. And then it sort of comes apart a bit and then it comes together again. And it's just, it's, it's been, you know, something that's well, on it, the verge for Well, there, you're always on the verge mm -hmm. of something more and something better. You're always on the verge. You're always, that's what our friend was really wanting to say with his sort of feeling of boredom. He wants to be, be he likes that feeling more of being on the verge. But each of you get to decide how, how far you want to stretch for that verge, how much comfort you want in between. And as you begin to show yourself that no matter what, you can feel good, that under all conditions that you can manifest an emotion that feels good to you, then it, then it takes the risk factor out of everything and you can actually live a more exciting life. And, and the, well, the, the way I've been saying it's translating is, well, you know, it's more and more positive getting mixed in, but maybe there's some old vibrations in there too. So every time this thing comes closer to the verge, you know, just one of these times it'll pop in as it's just more positive. Is that, am I translating that? You are translating it. And, and it is, it is in the spirit of trying to find a way to feel better about it. But we would really like all of you to relax in the understanding that there is a mix of possibilities that are pleasing and unpleasing but there's no reason to be guarded against the unpleasing because no matter what you can come back into balance and there's something about knowing that deliberate creation says I prefer this to this but in my preference to this Sometimes there is a real guardedness about that that you don't even know you've got going on. And sometimes by it showing itself to you and you acknowledging that it was there and then you finding relief even from that, it leaves it in such a better feeling place. Because there are, you're right, there are levels of resistance that you don't even know you have. But there is no risk no matter what. We want you to play the game for a little while Be when we speak of manifestation or when you think about manifestation often you think about well I'm going to manifest a relationship or I'm going to manifest a pile of money that I can invest that will carry me through into my future or I'm going to manifest something physical like a house or a car these are manifestations and certainly they are all manifestations but what manifestation really is in the truest sense of the word when we hear you use the word and we know what you all mean when you use it and we take all of that together what manifestation is is this moment in time this is this is the juncture where the focus of you and the focus of who you really are is converging so in this moment the manifestation is being allowed by you to have a full infusion conscious deliberate feeling infusion of the source within you or a lesser degree of that that you've got pinched off so really manifestations the manifestation is now it's now it's now as a manifest the fire alarm was a manifestation where you're sitting is a manifestation all of this equipment that has been gathered for the for the benefit of this exposure to the world it's all a manifestation the fact that you're in this chair is a manifestation the fact that we are here having this communication with you is a manifestation the merging of your mind and our mind and their minds it's all a manifestation but the manifestation is nothing without the emotion that is wrapped around it in other words everything that everyone wants whether it's a material object or a state of being or a pile of money or a relationship or a, it doesn't matter what it is everything that everyone wants they want because they believe they will feel better in the having of it you just know that you you want to travel because you think it will be fun you want a conversation with that person because you think it will be uplifting you want to watch that sport event because you think you will enjoy it you want it in other words everything is because you understand at very deep levels the importance of this manifested moment where you're having an emotional response so to separate the emotion from the manifestation makes the manifestation meaningless the emotion is everything about it so when you make it about the emotion 
over which you have complete control is like sneaking in the back door because when you find the emotion in the past we said when you find the feeling place of what it is you want when you find it and practice it and know it and own it so that it's not iffy it's not maybe and it's not contingent upon what they say or they say or what happened it's not contingent upon the cooperative components that come together it's contingent only upon your desire to feel it and your determination to feel it and your ability to find it and feel it when you get control of your manifestational emotion you've got control of everything thank you very much now they're just messing with us <laughs>